do something for your business to grow your business and to change the direction you're going if you don't like the direction you're heading right now if you don't like that job and you don't like what your income is you don't like what you're earning you owe it to yourself seriously don't waste another weekend don't don't spend it you know looking at Netflix binging or the game or whatever because none of that's gonna matter ten years from now none of it will but it will matter if you invest in yourself by putting forth a little bit of work and I'm here to help you I want to take a moment and talk to you today about drop shipping and how you can use it to make a whole bunch of money. Now, I had a client I was talking to just yesterday, and he had gotten some training from a company, and the company had told him to buy a bunch of product in bulk, and based on the fact that they saw that it was selling on Amazon, and to and they had a high velocity on it, they told him, to buy this product, ship it to Amazon, and use their FBO, fulfillment by Amazon, and sell products, and that's how he was gonna make money. Now there's a, several flaws with this problem, with this particular way of doing this. Um, first off, that product that you saw selling on Amazon, it may be selling today, but in a week or two, it may not be selling. And if you're buying in bulk from China, anything like that, it's going to take a while for that product to even get to you uh, or to Amazon, wherever you're going to be shipping it to. And by the time it gets there, the season could be over. It could maybe not be a hot product anymore or you know prices could change inventories could change it's really a bad idea if you haven't gotten a proven product to buy in quantity and ship it to yourself or anybody else for that matter because you don't really know what's going to happen also depending uh, on one particular product is not going to make you much money but because basically what you're doing when you're getting that initial customer is you're basically getting a buyer, okay? And it's not to make profit on that initial sale. If you do, that's awesome. But the idea is to get a buyer, somebody who's used to buying from you. And if you can get somebody who's used to buying from you, then guess what? They will probably buy more things from you. As a matter of fact, if somebody buys from you one time, they are 10 times more likely to buy from you than a cold prospect. Um, what I want you to do is kind of understand the principle behind this. So in, in doing um, drop shipping, and I'm a drop shipper too, I, I not only do drop shipping, but I am a drop shipper. What that means is I'll sell products that somebody else drop ships for me, and I also drop ship products for other companies. I drip, drop ship products for uh, Walmart. If you go to Walmart and search Survival Cave Food, you're going to find my products there, and uh, I ship those products out. You know, they sell them, Walmart sells them, but I actually ship them out. So, you know, a lot of people think, well, I don't want to be a drop shipper. I mean, what, what, what is that? That's nothing. You know, you don't even have any products. You're nobody. Three of the biggest drop shippers in the world are Walmart, Target, and Home Depot. Okay. So, you know, the majority of the stuff they sell on their site, they don't have, they don't warehouse. Somebody else is shipping that out for them. It just makes them look like a bigger company because they got all these products on there. Walmart's really famous for this. If you go to their site, I mean, there's so many products there that they don't ever have. They don't have any of this stuff in their warehouse. They don't have it in their stores because my products, which is Survival K Food, you know, we ship out for Walmart, but they don't keep it in their stores. They don't sell it in their stores. Matter of fact, we don't even allow it to be sold in their stores. So keep in mind that drop shipping is a big thing. So here's how it works basically though. You've got this Shopify store right here and you're gonna run traffic. You know, maybe it's gonna be Facebook. So maybe we're gonna get some Facebook traffic, right? And we're gonna send it to the Shopify store, these pages, these landing pages. And then people are gonna buy it, okay? And then what we've done is we've actually um, integrated our little store here, ABC store, okay, with Oberlo. Now, Oberlo is nothing more than an integration piece of software. The way Oberlo works is um, when, when you get this order here, Oberlo looks at it and it matches it up to the AliExpress seller over in China, okay? And then it says, okay, this person just bought from the store here. I need to put the order in AliExpress. Now, you'll have to go in and manually say, you know, accept this order or whatever. But as soon as you do that, what they're going to do is they're going to ship out the product to your customer. Okay? So what it's essentially done is it takes you out of the loop. You don't have to buy the inventory. You don't have to stock the inventory. You don't have to ship out the inventory. But most importantly, 
you don't have to invest any money in inventory. And if you do this process where you, you know, you get some traffic sent to your store, use a Burlo, send it to AliExpress and have it go out to the customer, you can test all kinds of products by doing this. I mean, tons of products. So I would highly suggest you doing this. I would highly suggest you using drop shipping. When you're watching this video, I do want to remind you, put your comments in the section there. Even if you're not watching live, put your comments in that section there. Put your questions in that section because what happens is when you do that, I get notified that you put a comment in there and as soon as I get notified, I'll jump on there and I'll answer your question for you and you get free answers. Free answers is good, right? So put your comments in there and, and if you just have a comment on this video, please do that. Stick that in there. I would really appreciate if you would share this video with your friends and family and anybody else you want to share it with because the more we can get the word out, the more we can help more people and they'll think you're cool because you shared, because you shared this information. So that's a pretty cool thing. Get working. Start doing something. Don't sit around. Don't actually call yourself a vegetable and sit on the couch because that's not going to get you ahead. And come Monday morning, you got to go to the same job over and over and over again. If you don't get up off the couch and we, actually you could stay on the couch and get on your laptop, right? And start working on your business. Please start working on your business. If you want to get more information, on training, you can also go to my group. I have a private Facebook group. It's called The Art of E-Commerce Success. And you can search that on Facebook, The Art of E-Commerce Success. You can opt to join that group. It is a private group, but we have tons of information in there. Okay, there's free videos in there. You can ask questions in there. It's moderated. I'm in there. You know, I'm, I'm putting videos in there and I'm answering people's questions. And don't forget, put your questions on this video too. Just put it in the comments section there. I'll see it, I'll come back to you, and I'll help you out. Don't go sit on the couch and become a vegetable. Don't do it, okay? Do something for your business to grow your business and to change the direction you're going if you don't like the direction you're heading right now. If you don't like that job and you don't like what your income is, you don't like what you're earning, you owe it to yourself, seriously. Don't waste another weekend. Don't, don't spend it, you know, looking at Netflix binging or the game or whatever, because none of that's going to matter 10 years from now. None of it will, but it will matter if you invest in yourself by putting forth a little bit of work and I'm here to help you. Okay. So if you need help, put in the comment section, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you. I hope to see you real soon and I'll talk to you later.